Hello guys, this is Ayo Conley from Blooming Gardens. Good to see you guys today. Today is the 2nd of February 2021 and I'm on the farm today. Um, about three or four years, three years ago or two years ago, I think I did a video explaining how we use uh, cocoa pits and uh, how we use cocoa pits to raise our nursery. Uh, so at that point, I, we, we used to use cocoa pits along with um, inorganic material, all right? Oh, yeah, inorganic uh, chemicals like uh, MPK 1515. So over the years, we realized that there's a better option of using it with manure. So today, I just want to do a video, a quick video to explain how we do that. Uh, so this is a, um, well, let me flip the camera now. Yeah, so this is a typical block of the cocoa pit that we use along with these uh, nursery trays. Uh, for peppers, we usually use uh, 128 cell nursery trays. Uh, these particular ones that we have, they're really, they're really, really strong. You know, they're like a 1.5 mm thick. So these particular ones now, I think we've used it about five or six times. And as you can see, they're still really, really rugged and thick. Uh, they're not like the regular ones that are all around, which we also have. We have the ones that are 1 mm thick and we have the ones that are 1.5 mm thick. The prices vary, of course. So anyway. So this is the cocoa pit which you can also get from us at blooming gardens along with the trays this is what it looks like each block is uh, usually weighs about five kilograms it's compressed coconut husk uh, so i'll just be uh, showing to you what we do all right okay so this is what we just do we start pouring water slowly we just pour water slowly into the cocoa pit and allow the cocoa pit to absorb the water Remember, don't be in a hurry and just maybe take the cocoa pit and throw it inside water. Uh, that's not the best way to go. So you, you need to be patient. Just be pouring the water slowly. Let the cocoa pit absorb it. As you can see, it's beginning to swell up. It's beginning to swell up. It may take us about 10-15 uh, minutes for this process. But it just keeps, um, keeps absorbing the water. Uh, you you keep letting the water run on it until you feel that yes it is fully yeah just dig a, a small hole there and be pouring the water in and allow it to soak in so you keep doing this for about 15 minutes until you you can see that the entire block is fully saturated with water Okay, so we keep putting water, as you have seen, and the thing has swollen up. Now imagine, this is a cocoa pit that we have not started adding water. This was what this looked like before we started adding water. Now see how it has swollen up, about two to three times the size. Right, so that's, that's what you do to get your cocoa pit ready. All right. So once it's fully swollen up, then we break it down as they are doing right now. We just use our hands. Remember, this is just coconut husk. It's nothing complex. We just use our hands to break it into molds. Hold on, break it up properly before you add the manure. So we, we break it up into to ensure that there are no lumps. Because remember, we're going to be putting all of this in these trays. Yeah, so we break it up like this. You know, it's now very fluffy and uh, it should be very fluffy right now yeah that's it that's it so all these lumps we just very simple just use your hand to break them up you are going to occasionally have lumps like this one that's a little bit hard because the water didn't get there enough but it's going to still absorb water later on and it's going to dissolve fully all right you can add more water yeah exactly you just do that break them up break them up break them up break them up so when we've broken them up we just get a bag of manure what we try to do is about 50 50 ratio ah this one is wet all right so but it's it's, it's uh cured manure preferably we use the dry one but this one is also cured what what i just got to it all right so you could use dry manure, you could use this type. Uh, this one is dry, but uh, it's cured manure. But water got to it where we put it, but, so, but it's still very, very good. 
it's not it's no longer smelly no smell all right so that means it's very good and it's a uh, it's chicken manure of course you if you could get cow manure it's fine if you could get horse manure it's fine just mix the cocoa pits thoroughly with the manure remember cocoa pit is sterile it does not have any nutrients so it's important that you had your nutrients yourself the first video i talked about us using mpk 1515 which is a balanced uh, fertilizer but now we just uh, realize we get more results by using manure so that's what we're doing here all right so keep mixing and mixing yes they're using their hands to mix shit Ew. Yoruba says Inukbelo Inukbelo Wowa. Abi Afa. Aha, Inukbelo Inukbelo Wowa. Yeah, so that's that's how we roll. We wash our hands and cleanse cleanse up when we're done. My hands too. I'm not just recording. Even my hands too are dirty. Can you see? Yeah. We need together. Okay, so the cocoa pit has been thoroughly mixed up now with the with the manure and see it's all looking dark because of the manure now uh, remember again cocoa pit itself is sterile doesn't have any nutrients so you need the manure to to be able to help it to to help the plants to germinate all right so we will start putting the mixture now in the nursery trays these ones and uh, we'll see normally when we start doing that um each tray each uh, cocoa pit block with the manure should be able to fill up about 20 trays of the nursery trays uh and then we we'll start planting a minimum of 20 trays so let's see how many we can get out today so we have to put them in the trays this is what we do we just spread it very thinly we don't compress it, we just spread it very thinly over each tray. And that's what we do. So let's see how many trays we'll be able to get. okay so that's the last one that we are loading up all right so how many did we get this cocoa pit was actually fantastic so let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we got 32 trays from one cocoa pit block like this. And a bag of manure. 32 trays. That was fantastic. All right. So we'll move on to the next stage now, which is how we plant the seeds. So I'll showcase that very soon. All right. So if we want to, we have our seeds now. The hybrid seeds uh, we're planting we're planting pepper seeds today so you just get a little stick like this and after you put your cocoa pit in the tray we just drill a little hole try and make sure that the depth of the hole is even all through because that's what will ensure even germination all right just try and get it in the middle of each hole each plug just do a little hole 
a little hole that is probably about five centimeter five to ten centimeter deep not too deep maybe something like this deep you see that that's like that deep all right let's do it all in that's that's what we do um yep let's do the holes round when you're done when you've done all the holes then you take your seats one by one yes it's a bit tedious process drop it in the holes one after the other yep drop it in the hole let it fall to the bottom one after the other each seed is very important don't squeeze or i mean squeeze to add on the seeds the one that doesn't fall in like that just pick it up gently and make sure it falls in don't squeeze very hard on the seeds they're quite fragile and they are alive it's very important you treat them gently to ensure that they stay alive all right so that's what we do i'll just finish this line for now and i'll show you how we cover it up yeah so there you go so occasionally we have some seeds that are like glued together i'll show you one now this one doesn't want to fall in there. So, I'll just stop at this point. So, we have occasionally, like, can you move it closer to this one? We have some seeds like this. Can you see that? Yes. Like this one that are glued together. It's two seeds glued together. So, I just plant them together like that. All this, all the same. I don't separate them. Because if trying to separate them, you may end up killing the two. So, what will eventually happen is that the two of them will germinate if they are both still alive. Or at worst, one of them will germinate. So we just cover them up like this. That's what we do. This one, this one, strong going to push it in, push it in, go, push it in. This one's already in. You know, push it in a little, cover it up, cover it up, cover it up, cover it up, cover up, cover up, cover up, cover up like that. So that's what we just do all the way. The ones that need a little bit of push inside, we'll push it inside and cover. Then the next thing will be the first spray. When we're done with all of this. Okay? Cover them up like that. And up, stay in, stay in, my friend. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we do. Okay, happy. Sir. All right, so we're at the final stage now. Start pumping. The final stage now is getting water into the nursery. So we normally use a knapsack sprayer to drench it. So we just give it a generally very good drench the first time. And uh, that's what we're doing here. Pump it well. All right. When you want to, and this is what we do throughout the entire period that the crops are going to be in the nursery. We use a knapsack sprayer to pump. Well, the reason why we do this is to ensure that the water goes in gently and does not make the cocoa pit and the manure to compact. Because if you're using like a watering can, I think this is enough so you can remove this once and put the next layer. Oh yeah, Afa. If you're, if you're using like a watering can, which some people do, uh, remove this one too. Which some people do, yeah, go ahead. Um, what, what that does is that it, um, the watering can comes out with a lot of pressure of the water and makes the plants to compact, all right? And that's not very good for the seeds, that's not good for the root area of the plant. So you use a gentle spray like this and uh, just do this morning and evening and your plants should be okay. All right, I'll keep a record of these particular crops and I'll probably show you when they start germinating 
and also just generally as they as they grow uh these are pepper seeds this variety are uh, uh marvel f1 from east west seed all right so we'll just be showcasing them as they go all right so this is me this is me ayokole again uh signing out uh if you like this video or any other videos that you've seen that we've been doing um please feel free to like the videos uh, click on the subscribe button somewhere somewhere down there click on the subscribe button and uh share the video with your friends put a comment down there tell us what you like tell us what you don't like tell me if you like me that fact that i don't shave regularly or um, the way i look on sundays when i'm in my agbada just pass a comment let me know all right so this guy here yeah, let me use the opportunity now yeah yeah, yeah come here this guy we call him alpha all right um a few months ago right. when was that last year right yeah okay last year alpha came i, I don't know him from adam he's now my brother all right <laughs> all right uh he, he just called me up and said he wanted to come and learn how to farm and um i decided to bring him on board he came to the farm and he liked what he saw and asked me please can i just hang around i said ah i don't have a particularly mm -hmm. training program for young people but he said yes he'll just learn he'll hang around with his farm with the farm and the likes so that's how he, be he became one of us and uh, for how many months did you say eight months wow he was with us for eight months learning learning and learning and um we i provided him accommodation he stayed on the farm here can you imagine good guy graduate too he's not a lazy nigerian youth all right and he learned as much as he learned and i was very happy at the end of eight months when he was able to raise some funds and go and start his own farm i was ecstatic i was really really happy for him so he's back here again to come and just ask a few questions you know like expo he's writing his own exams now <laughs> he's running his own farm he's doing ugu i think he's happy with whatever he's doing all right uh, but he just came in today to come and ask a few questions again some things that is still complex you want to say a word or just i mean what was your experience like when you were here ah. Uh, okay um i didn't prepare very... him for this video so that's why he started <laughs> all right so is it was interesting and very okay but the little challenge is that uh, you just need to leave the paper and the certificate and the lights and do the dirty jobs and it's, it's actually encouraging anyway and sweet so but i actually love every one of us all the youth out there to come and learn learning first after the learning then you move the l then make you end so hey because, <laughs> going on. learn first before you end <laughs> yeah, all so, right let's go there so after then you can start <laughs> making your cash but if you don't learn you you lose the money the resources the energy and the time thanks very much <laughs> okay i like that you learn before you end okay so i came to learn and now he's earning on his own so he's employing people can you imagine just fresh graduates it is an employer of labor now there are so many people out there uh, they think farming is not for graduates farming is not for the educated we are proving them wrong all right we're proving them wrong and uh, i mean so okay so this is my plan this year and this is a giveaway to anybody out there watching this video or maybe you feel you want to share, share this video with anybody um probably kicking off march one kicking off march one i would like to do the same thing i did for alpha for maybe two or three people out there that are interested but you have to really prove to me that you are interested in learning free i will teach you what i know as much as i know free of charge the same way i gave it to, i learned i taught alpha i didn't know alpha from adam he just called me by the way we call him alpha his real name is idris all right idris Adejumo. all right so he didn't, I didn't know him from Adam. He just called me out of the blue saying that he, oh, he was watching me on YouTube. He wants to come and learn. So now I am not waiting for you to call me. I'm reaching out. Two or three people, young guy, below 35, committed, want to come and learn. I will provide the same thing I provided for Alpha. I'll provide accommodation for you. You provide your own food. Um, depends on how you perform. I decided to put Alpha on a steep end when he was there. Depends on how you perform. I may choose to do that. I may choose not to. But you will come here, spend two, three months, and I will pr provide myself available for you. I'll teach you as much as I can, free of charge. And when you are done, I have a lot of people that always ask me, don't you have people you've trained that you can send out as a farm manager? 
if there are opportunities like that and you have proven yourself over that period, of course, that means job provided for you. Or you want to go and set up your farm, I will help you as much as I can, just the same way I helped Alpha. All right, so this is a call out there. Anybody that's interested, feel free to send me an email why you think we should be in the program. Just that's all. Just send me an email. My email, I'll put it in the description or somewhere there. It's ayokunle.ore at bloominggardens.ng.com. Ayokunle.ore at bloominggardens.ng. Sorry. Ayokunle. Ayokunle.ore at bloominggardens.com.ng. All right. Ayokunle.ore at bloominggardens.com.ng. Just send me an email. Why you think you should be in this program? Why you think you should be qualified for this program? And effective match one will probably kick it off. All right? So, this is me again signing out. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Au Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>